Um, probably picking and choosing when to play footy and when to go back to base, back to home sort of thing. So, um, yeah, the points are there for us, but defensively we were probably a little bit undone there and, and um, yeah, just leaking too many tries. Yeah, it was a bit chaotic. It was just that tit for tat. They scored, we scored, they scored, we scored sort of thing. So, um, but yeah. There's, you know, you always want to win every week, right? But are there lessons that you get in a, you know, a hard fought loss like that that you maybe don't get, you know, if you come out as a winner in that one? Um, no, nah, I think you'd probably still get the same sort of lessons from that com- coming out if the result was the other way around sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it was a bit of a scrappy game for us, but, yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a good lesson and um, we're definitely on the right track. Is it tough to slow? When you match that tip the is it tough to then slow down that match? When you know you've got so many attacking weapons at your disposal, when you said, like, the focus should be back on just getting back in the grind? Yeah. Um, I suppose it's a bit hard because all the boys want to play footy and all the boys are seeing stuff and sort of the game's opening up a little bit with, you know, our style of play where we like to play fast as well. So, and then you got Teddy and, um, you know, Sammy Walks and, you know, Cheese and Connor who, who um, are seeing space and, you know, just taking opportunities. But um, just getting that balance of that and, you know, knowing when to take those opportunities, time a game, um, you know, score and then or when to bring it back and then just uh, get to the end of sets and kick, kick the ball into the corners. It's a familiar that the club has come together. I know he hasn't really had a chance to have a war of it, but you've added you and Jared and then Terrell and Spencer come off the bench. Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, Spenny and Terrell are doing a good job there and they're bringing on and Spenny's just a ball of power and, um, you know, he saw his first carry on the weekend and, yeah, just skilled everyone. So... Yeah, the more more weeks we have, the more combinations we get, and um, you know it's easy for Robbo to make that um, rotation as well, um, knowing the trust that he has in our bench boys. So yeah. I'm sure Spencer sort of done your job in tackling State of Origin. What about Teddy mate? Obviously a lot of chat. Are you expecting the Blues to get a skipper? Yeah, I think Teddy's been in he's been in fine form for how many ever years now, and um, yeah, I can't see why not. Oh, I personally don't think it's really wavered sort of thing. I think it's been the same sort of thing. So, yeah. Did you start? Like, we're obviously talking about Origin Young Teams a week later. Did you start thinking about it this time of year? Um, not really. I sort of, I don't think about it until I'm in camp or if, when I get the call sort of thing. So, this week we've got the Raiders and that's where my focus is at. We're just chatting to you about, I guess, you know, the fact that you mentioned before, the guys that are having against the years, like so many guys are in line for Origin selection. How important is it to win this way to make sure that, you know, as Origin starts rolling through, you guys at the club carry that momentum? Yeah, it's always um, a time of year in the past that we've looked forward to um, origin time because in the past we have had you know a few boys go on origin duties and it's given opportunity for young boys to come through and um, get an opportunity to sort of showcase their game so um, we'll wait and see with what selection does to our team but um, yeah either way it's a next man up mentality and we've got good depth there this year which is something that we haven't quite had in the last couple of years and Got a lot of juniors who are just finishing up, um, uh, yeah, flag and you know up and playing cup now, and it's um, yeah pretty exciting to see those boys um, in and training all the time as well. So yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. And it also makes good for like training and stuff like that as well. So um, for us, you know, having, you know, an opposition team that we're going up against at training every week um, with, you know, Egan's and juniors and, you know, Satili's and 
Um, it, it makes us better, and it's still sharp and steel, sort of here. It's the sort of mentality that we've got, and yeah, um, it's, it's good when we get the opportunity to go up against each other at training. Have you ever seen that Twitch video from Friday night? And, and you have, what's been your reaction to some of the conclusions that have been drawn by a lot of people online? Yeah, it's pretty funny that the someone can take a snippet and say something they want to say and everyone runs with it. And the fact that we're talking about it now, it's it's laughable, pretty pretty much. So um, it's the night before a game, and the boys are doing you know something good, and yeah, it's uh yeah it's crack up.